Okay, well this is my T140E and um, I think it's time to change the um, drive chain on it. And um, I've just bought a new chain and I'm just going to go through a few things. But um, the original chain that I've got on, it's not actually been on that long, it's been on about a year, but it's already showing signs of wear. And you can tell, tell if it's wearing because you've got this play on the back and it's not bad, you know, but I wanted to try something. I wanted to see if I can get a more modern uh, X-ring or O-ring chain to fit it um, because I have actually readjusted this chain two or three times and it just seems, to be quite honest, it just seems weak. Um, now the, the issue with these chains or the original chains is that the, the distance between the pins from here to here um, in, well this is the split pin but the dis the maximum distance from there is quite critical because the way the T140 works is it goes through a tunnel to the front sprocket between the um, clutch and the the gearbox and that tunnel I've measured it I have actually measured it and it's about just over 24 millimeters so assuming the chain runs in the middle and uh, and I've actually measured it and it seems to do it's only giving um, a couple of mil on each side on the standard chain so trying to fit a, an o-ring or an x-ring chain which which just by the the nature of them are wider um, it's been quite a challenge for some people and and some of the forums they've, they've tried to skim off extra pieces of metal in the to try and give clearance but I think I've got another solution which hopefully doesn't mean that I'm going to have to uh, change anything to be quite honest um, now just to go through it the, the chain that's on at the moment is a, a Wassel Elite um, 530 or a, a 3 chain um, now the chain pin length is 20.8 millimeters now that is an ISO standard but I have measured it unfortunately in one sense I've measured it is actually a little bit less <laughs> so but the the other thing is the the actual split pin is a little bit more so where the split pin is the the, the uh, pins are a little bit bigger so we've got actually a split pin length which I've actually just measured these is 22.9 millimeters so that's the pin length on that and then we've got um, the tensile strength on these which apart from wearing they probably are correct but because it hasn't got any o-rings in they they seem to work fairly quickly but it does seem quite low it's 26.4 kilo, kilo newton meters and then we've got the uh, seal type and there's no seals so just nothing whereas this one the new one i'm putting on is the did vx now the thing is this is actually an older model um, and there is a reason for that. They do a VX now, but it's called the Mark III, and it's a different size on the pin length. With this particular one, if the box comes in, if you wanted one, you buy a box and it comes like that. This is the older one, and it has a smaller pin length. It's a chain pin length 23.3, which isn't far off the actual split pin pin length. Now they've got, um, they do have a rivet. You, you won't be able to use a split pin so use a rivet pin which w becomes the same once you rivet it so I'm hoping it's going to be the same the thing the other advantage of this the tensile strength is just under double just under the double and it's an x-ring so it should be far more serviceable so anyway so let me get down and uh, see if this will fit fit I mean, it should fit on the rear pocket, but it's got to miss the run in the um, it's going to miss the run in the mud guard or the chain guard, and it's got to miss a little rivet here, and it's got to miss any fouling of the tunnel where the front sprocket is. So we'll see, and <laughs> we'll see how uh, how we get on with that. Okay, right. I've already uh, slackened the um, the. Uh, Wheel, rear wheel spindle um, just to make it easier but at the moment this is the, the original the chain that I've already got on and uh, it does get very close to 
this particular nut here. So we'll have a look. But obviously it misses because this is the one I've been using. And it goes through. So let's see what we can do. So what I'm going to do is, I mean, I'm just going to try it first. So if I can get to the split link, which is here. So we've got to the split link. And um, I'll take that off first. So I'm going to get zoomed in a bit here. Oh, that came off easy enough. Mm. Alright, so I don't want it to drop off the sprocket because I want to use it to um, push. I'll just put that in there. I just wanted to use it to. Uh, pull the new, the new chain through and if it doesn't fit so so, so, so we've got so this is the dig chain and we've got uh, the rivet well, I'm not going to use that for now uh, well I will do I'll use it but I'm just going to just put it on using the uh, one that's on that chain to pull it through but hopefully it'll fit so there's the new chain, looking very, very splendid. Put that on there. And then let's just get a bit of closer in. There we go. Pull that out. I'll drop that down, but be careful not to lose the other chain. Put that on there. Well, does it go on the sprocket? It seems to do. It doesn't seem that much wider when it's on, but it, yeah, you can tell it is wider. So I'm just going to put this, the old link in. This is just to pull it round. Okay, well that's gone in there. Now, this chain's a bit wider, so I'm just literally going to put this on, just to hold it. Right, so that's just on there. So that should pull it round. So I'll get the other chain on and out. Just pull it out a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Right, yeah, it just fits. Well, it should do. It's a 530 chain. That going through. Yeah. Now, there's too many links on this new chain um, because I've got a smaller sprocket. Um, there's a hundred. I ordered a hundred and six link chain, but I think I need a hundred and five. But it's all that they had. So oh, maybe not. Let's have a look. All right, so we're on there. Oh yeah, it is going up to the link. So now I've got to take that off. Turn that back off. Right. And take the link out. That's the old chain off. And that's the new one on now. I'm just I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna use the rivet, but there's no point in getting all the rivet stuff out already and then finally it doesn't fit so I'm just going to just put this on adjust the wheel I'm not going to ride it like that I'm going to adjust the wheel just to make sure that it's not catching I think it's because the other chain's a bit wider. 
and I'll just I'll try a different way. Put that on like that. There's my screwdriver. Oh, yeah. Right. Right there, that's on. So, let's just see. Oh, it's making lots of clanking noise at the moment, but the reason for that is because it's far too tight at the moment. So let's have a look. So I'll just adjust this. As I say, I've already slackened the back wheel off anyway. I just have to adjust those adjusters. I'll just tighten these up. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to take a link off here. Thought I would, but I'll do that later. I think I'll have enough adjustment just to try it out, by the way. A bit more on this side. There we go, that's tight enough for demonstration purposes. Now then, so let's just see what happens. Perfect. It's not catching. Now let's just have a look, another look at that. Um, no. Get that dry past of that nut there. Oh, there we are. Okay, it's missing it. There's no noise from the uh, tunnel. It's not scraping at all. So, yeah, I think we've. Uh, I think I'd call that a win. So, yes. Yeah, so, that's the 5:30. VX so make sure before you buy it that if you do buy one yourself make sure you buy um, uh, find out the proper specifications for the actual chain itself that you're buying but if you can get a pin length uh, again if you get a pin length a 23.3 well on my bike and mine's standard it certainly works so I'm hoping that that because that doesn't have any movement so I'm hoping with it being an x-ring chain it's going to give me far better service than than the old one I mean um, I mean I mean to be fair the old one I mean it's only been on about three or four thousand miles I think and there's already quite well I'd say quite a lot of movement you know, can't really see on there but side to side and it feels like it's nearly worn out as it is so yeah I'm, I'm pleased with that oh there we go backwards yeah, we're not going backwards so we're going forward so got a little bit of well it's oh that's it yeah that's just a a slight bit of I'd probably be able to adjust that that's a chain guard yeah it's just just catching there when I'm going backwards so it must be lifting it a bit but that's the chain guard but I can live with that so if anyone 
has the same sort of issues. Um, this this looks like this, the uh, chain to get. If you want to update your chain and make it a bit more modern, a bit more substantial. I mean, these these chains are chains are probably rated for um, you know thousand cc modern bikes. So on this, you know, like two hundred horsepower. <laughs> so uh, a fifty horsepower that this bike is, I think it'll be fine. So anyway, yeah. So I'm pleased with that. I will be putting the rivet the rivet on, and uh, I don't think there'll be any issues with that because when it rivets on, it'll rivet down to the same width. And um, and that's it. But I'll do that another time because there's actually another job I want to do before I actually fully fit this chain anyway, and that's to do with the oil filter. Um, at the moment, the oil filter that I've got, which is there, which is an Emgo oil filter, um, works on the return, and I've got some. I want to make a modification to the oil system or the piping to make it on the flow so it'll be oil filtered to the engine rather than from the engine so I'll need to take this this chain off I, I won't need to um, rivet it just yet but I'm not using the bike anyway so I'll be do hopefully be doing that over the weekend if not it'll be into next week so we'll see how that goes but yeah I'm pleased with the actual fitment of this chain it's really good yeah